falling asleep at the red light. I, I was oh. having sex before, and I woke up, and the girl just next to me. Oh, I'm still here. Hey, like I Mom. thought you was dead. Like, hell no. Uh, okay. so, I'm ready. Let's like, go. Like, girl, I done killed you. That's that Tessinex, baby. Yeah. Calm down. Damn. What's good, y'all? It's Coffee on the vid, and what in the hell is Rick Ross talking about? You heard him, man. You heard this clip circulating around, floating around during this interview, I believe. It was with Big Boy. He was talking about he done fell asleep in the whip at a red light, getting it in with some shorty, man. He must have had that thing in park, right? You know what I mean? Or else he would have coasted into the intersection, but... uh. I don't know. You know, they he said, no, nah, don't trip. It's that Tussin X. So he's talking about that that syrup. I don't know, man. Man, and don't even get me started on the syrup craze, man. I could tell you some funny stories, man. Cats want to, uh, you know, emulate what they see people doing in these videos and such so bad. I don't seen, seen people really buying like allergy syrup and ish and mixing it up with sprite or there was some old legal lean that was floating around that people wanted to buy and man i'll tell you one that tops it all i knew this cat back home back up north right who used to get high he was smoked out to the fullest remember method man said herb got my wig fried like a bad perm well the rock had this man's uh whole essence fried like a bad perm like it was it was bad right and he was stealing everything selling everything he could get his hands on and his wifey was on the methadone program because she was hooked on them pills and this man was out there in the streets selling the methadone to the hustlers you know trading it up for a couple stones here a couple stones there telling them it was the scissor that it was that lean and he was giving these cats methadone needless to say they was getting sick puking all over the place and falling asleep you know what i mean but i don't know man that's that's just wild man people really want to get their hands on that syrup just to take a picture for the gram one for the gram or just to be like rose or whoever else you know what i mean shit there might be some people that try to do exactly what rose was talking about in this video and be like yo let's get it in at the at the at the red light and i don't know you know what i mean and fall asleep and all that like copycats and uh you know people who just look to someone else to tell them how to be you feel me i love hip-hop i love the music i love the culture i love the fashion and all that but come on man we can't lose ourselves you still got to be your own individual person right but anyways man dead serious if this really was true like if rose wasn't clowning around and having a little fun here putting on embellishing a little bit for the sake of things you know because rose is a smart man he knows uh how to flip anything into something he knows what to say remember this is the guy that you know was a huge rapper still is you know what i mean but rose is definitely past his peak past his prime but you remember when rose was really out here killing it you know uh based off the persona of a kingpin you know what i'm saying freeway ricky ross shout out freeway rick ross the real rick ross no disrespect to rose but he was out here you know uh doing big things in the rap game under that persona and got exposed for being uh previously a ceo or a ceo a ceo in a former life a correctional officer and a ceo too of maybach music right and uh he flipped that into something good you know what I mean? Like this man knows how to talk. He's got that politician mouthpiece, that politician talk game. Sell water to a well, a ketchup popsicle to a woman in white gloves, right? Sell ice water to Eskimos. You feel me? Like Rick Ross, that's just what he does. He flipped that into something good. But in all actuality, in all seriousness, if this really did happen to uh, Rose, maybe this man had sleep apnea. Hit the comments out there, anyone who's got sleep apnea. Like, real talk, let's talk for a moment. We know Rose done lost a lot of weight. I don't know exactly how he shed the pounds. Maybe he was really in the gym, you know, putting that work in, 
and, and shedding them pounds the right way or maybe he was on some fat burner diet pills or some ish you know which is just really uh legal amphetamines real talk look it up jay coffee talk ain't lying to you always got to check any meds you're on but anyway sleep apnea a lot of cats anyone out there like i said if you have it or someone you know does hit the comments is no joke you know and a lot of people who may be carrying around a little extra weight with them seem to suffer from sleep apnea and they'll fall asleep out of nowhere like you know what i mean um i done known a cat once we were like he had sleep apnea real bad um, you know, he lost the weight and lost the apnea too, you know what I mean? But he used to have to have, have the whole deal, the mask and all that. And, um, you know, their heart stops and everything. It's a it's a scary disorder. But one time we was like, yo, where did this dude go? This man was knocked the fuck out, snoring on the toilet, taking a shit like that ass. And uh, he had did some prison time before. And he used to say he had a, you know, a thing in his file, in his paperwork that he had sleep apnea because there was a couple times that when um, the count, you know, everyone have to get online for the count, he'd be sleep sleeping away, snoring away, and they would, you know, alert the prison like, yo, we're short one over here in, you know, in the uh, West dorm, you know what I mean? And they would be ready to alert the authorities that someone escaped. But this man was sleeping with that sleep apnea. It's really that serious. So I wonder if this is indeed true if Rick Ross did suffer from sleep apnea. You feel me? I don't know. Y'all hit the comments. Let me know what you guys think about what I was talking about on here. Yo, no one, no one, please don't fall asleep driving, uh, busting shorty down or none of that, man. That's not good, you know? And uh, don't forget everyone to be yourself, to be yourself in this uh, age of duplicators, imitators, emulators, and many other haters. You feel me? Um, hit the comments. Let's talk. Make sure to sub to the channel. This has been Jay Coffee Talk. Daily content, music, news, sports, current events, life, and much more. I thank y'all for watching. You guys have a great day. Be safe, everyone. And I'm gone.